Hey, what is up everybody? It is Kateric Gaming here today bringing you a special update on all of the brand new 1.8 vanity items and I'll be walking you through each one that I've gotten so far. I mean, this is about 90% of them that I know of. I know I'm missing out on one emote as far as I know and a couple of the clothing items. Okay, so we do have the cadet cap, which comes in black, blue, and brown. They're pretty much literally the exact same hat. It's kind of like the slouchies, but with different color variations to it. I like how reflective those glasses are. That's kind of cool. Okay. So you can see there that it's literally copy and paste, different color. And then you have the casual baseball cap black. <laughs> I kind of like this one because it looks like you're wearing beats pretty much. Uh, this entire video was pre-recorded, and then I found my friend North in the background, so hey, North, I was in the middle of recording a video. I'm sorry, I couldn't talk. And I don't know why Stone joined on me, but eventually he left too. I had like 50 cipher keys, and this is how I ended up getting all of them. So anyhow, that one cap has a leopard print variation, if you really wanna, I don't know, kinda tap into that cheetah or leopard print, like, you know, kinda sorta. I don't know, it's not my favorite thing, so I wouldn't go for it. Uh, you do have the fedora. I think that one's been there for a while, but I just got it out of the Mark II caches, which is what I was trying to show you guys y'all can get. And then I hate those cops. I really do. Okay, knitted slouchy. Okay, LMB hat's been here for a while. MC Club hat. The MC Club entire outfit looks really, really cool. I'll show y'all that in just a little bit. Okay, and we are moving down to the riding helmet. The jungle riding helmet. It looks somewhat decent. I wouldn't really... I don't know, it's not my thing. It's not my style, you know? Okay, we are moving on to the snapback cups, which I actually really do like. Okay, maybe the green one's not my favorite, but the gray one's amazing, and it actually has NYC written in silver on the back of the hat. Y'all can kind of look at it right there, see? NYC. Dude, that looks amazing. Normally I'm not like a huge vanity person, but they actually had quite a few that I did enjoy, so... I don't know, I just thought I'd decide to do a video on it for you guys, just in case you were wondering what the difference was between the Mark 1 caches and the Mark 2 caches over at the premium vendor. You can get these for your freaking cipher keys if you've saved up for them or held on to them long enough. You can get a whole bunch of stuff very quickly. Because I did get appearance items, I got uh, camos for my weapons and backpack, and then I got a couple of new emotes. I know I am missing one. Okay, let's see, we're still scrolling and scrolling. Okay, Urban Messenger hat looks kind of decent, but it's not my favorite. And then the Urban Navigator hat, it just looks like someone went out fishing for a couple hours. So I don't know, that's not my thing, but I know a couple people out there who would actually wear that in real life, so. <laughs> I don't know, man, people are weird. Different things for different people, you know? Okay, cleaner jacket, that's been out for a while, but I did get that out of the Mark II cache. I'm gonna continue scrolling. LMB jacket that's been there for a while. Got that out of the Mark II as well. MC Club jacket, which actually looks really nice aside from the elbow pads on the jacket. And then we have the military jacket beige. I'm pretty sure that one's been in the game for a little while. Military parade jacket. I know for sure that one's been there for a while. Yes, yeah, my little bird. I hear you, baby. What you want? And then we have this jacket, which is blue. I can't really see it because my screen's so really, really small. So I'm sorry. I think it's a Sherling jacket. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, ski jacket, mustard. It's pretty much the same jacket as the purple one, just obviously different color variations to it. One looks more kind of like a desert camo, like, hey, don't look at me. And the other one's kind of like, I am the knight. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> that was so much better. Okay, Urban Explorer jacket. That one actually looks somewhat decent. Urban Navigator jacket. Not a huge fan of it. Urban Winter jacket. This one is really, really cool because it actually does have salty written all over it. I'll zoom in on that for you in the video. Just... There we go. Okay. So, I don't know. I think that'd be a perfect combination if you really want to be quote-unquote salty towards someone in the DZ. I know there is a beanie that has salty written all over it as well. I'm not sure if I have it. I don't remember checking for it. But, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I, I think <laughs> if you're looking to be toxic in the DZ, that would be your outfit. Okay, we're gonna go into the pants right now. And one moment. We're just scrolling through. 
MC club pants. I like those. Those are kind of like skinny jeans. So, obviously, they're going to be nice. Yes, my little bear. What you want, baby? Not always petting the tummy. Okay. Not my little bear. Okay, we have the urban explorer pants, urban navigator pants, and then that mess. Urban winter pants, which look like someone took a puff jacket and poured green vomit all over it and decided to go, hey, that's fashion. Yes, little bird, I hear you, baby. Okay, so I took off my jacket so that way y'all could go into the shirt section and kind of see what shirts I'm trying on rather than saying, hey, yeah, look between like these little jacket partings and like maybe you can see the shirt. Okay, LMB shirt, that one's been there for a while. Got that out of the Mark II cash. MC Club shirt actually looks pretty nice. Not a huge fan of the um, shoulder pads though. Okay, so we do have the Riker t shirt, which has been there for quite a while. You can also get that out of the Mark II caches. We do have the Urban Explorer shirt, we have the Urban Navigator shirt, Urban Winter shirt, and that one actually does look a lot better than the Urban Winter pants. I don't know what they were thinking about going with all those mixtures of colors that don't really go together in the first place. Okay, cleaner scarf, obviously the cleaner appearance, vanity items have been there for a while. MC Club scarf actually has a skull on it. It kind of looks like the uh, shotgunners in the game, the shotgunners mask but it has a skull on it and it just looks really really cool. I think it's gonna be my main scarf from now on unless I go back to my regular outfit, which all of you should know by now is my fucking rainbow one. Like, hey, you shoot me, you know? <laughs> okay, so JTF boots, obviously that one's been there for a while. MC club shoes, those actually look pretty decent. They're kind of bulky. They'd look better on the male characters than the female in my opinion, but that's just me, so I don't know. I do have a female character in case any of y'all are wondering I mean, you can't really tell from the mask and the hat, though. Okay, Urban Explorer, Urban Messenger shoes, Urban Navigator shoes, and Urban Winter shoes, which actually look somewhat decent. Like, I think those are cool. I'd actually probably wear those, so... Okay, and that's that for there. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and put on a jacket again. I think I'm gonna put on the MC jacket. I think that's what I did. This entire thing's pre-recorded, you guys. I'm pretty much re-guessing myself. Yep, MC Club jacket. On points. <laughs> okay, so there were some weapon camos that you got out of the caches as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and show you all the backpack camos there first. I could be wrong. No, that's exactly what I was doing. Okay, I was searching for a better backpack because I did have a reclaimer bag on and it kind of cuts the designs in half. So just give me one moment, you guys. And right about... Okay, I went out and bought like this little Firecrest backpack just so that I could use the fucking camos and show them to you guys a little bit better than what was on the Reclaimer backpack because like, you know, it kind of cuts it out and it's just over it a little bit, you know, kind of, sort of. Okay, so we have the Brigade Commander uh, backpack camo. We have the bro oh, Bush Brushmaster. I can never never say that one right. We have Carthage Pink, we have Carthage Vandal, so there is kind of a little collection going on there. I like the pink one the best, even though I hate pink. <laughs> so, okay, we have Legion Americas, which actually looks pretty decent. It's kind of like that camo type thing, so if you guys like, oh, quote-unquote not being seen in the DZ, I guess you could try that, even though it doesn't technically blend into the background considering it's always winter. Okay, there's Sting Ocean. I think that one's decent, but it's a little dull. Splash Meteor. That one looks kind of cool from the different shades that, well, shades and values that they put into it. Then we have Tech Gorilla Warfare, uh, Bulldog, Urbana. Okay, so y'all can kind of see all of the tribe camos, and they look kind of cool. I really do like the Urban Enforcer. I like all the vector camos. So, I don't know. I think Vector's Lime is my favorite. Little bird, can you not, baby? Come on. Anyhow, I think all the Vector camos are pretty nice. And then you have another Renade camo down there. So, if you didn't already have the original one, you can go for that one. So, yeah, just ignore that Firecrest backpack. Honestly, that's pretty much not even mine. I just bought that from the vendor next to me. So... 
Okay, now we're going into camos on weapons, and I chose MDR so that way y'all could see it a little bit better. We have Astro Beams, we have Astro Saturn. I think the Beams is a little bit better than Saturn, but that's just kind of my personal opinion. Let's see, we have the Brush Bushmaster, and that one's kind of for like camo people, maybe the USMC people that I see online. Then we have Carthage Sand and Tundra. See, there's that cocktail amber. Dude, that thing looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. I know I didn't buy that one. I just got it out of the mark caches that you can get. So if you farm the NPCs a little bit and you pick up, I don't know, maybe a cypher key fragment off of a boss, then you can go ahead and pick that up eventually. So, Frontier Knights. Dude, I think the Frontier uh, Royal Guard looks the absolute best if you actually kind of pay attention and detail to it. I don't know. It just looks kind of out there. For some reason it reminds me of the Void in um, Warframe. So, Ooh, the Moray tool. Okay, I, I love that one. I love that one. That one looks so pretty. Well, at least on the right, on the left, it looks kind of dulled down like most of the camos do. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and then we have the Rikers Island and Rikers Speed. You probably got those from the live stream yesterday if you were watching. Well, day prior, depending on when this video comes out, if you were watching the uh, Divisions live stream on Twitch. So you could get those there, or you can get them out of the caches over here in the terminal. <sighs> so much talking. Sorry, white boy, I couldn't accept your invite. It was in the middle of this. Okay, so I do have Scales Marble and Scales Metal, both the same, kind of, sort of. And then Scales Fume. I think Scales Metal looks a little bit better because of the darker contrast to it. Then we have Sting Ocean, which looks decent, but it's not my favorite one so far. Okay, and then we have Tech Urban Warrior, Tech Urbana, and Tech Warrior. Looks like they just kind of cut that name on the first one in half and just pasted it onto two others. Okay, then they have Special Forces, and I really like the Tiger Ice Storm. Like, I think that one's kind of beautiful, you know? Vectors Industrials. We're going to get into all the vector camos that I just got as well. So these are all what you can get out of the Mark II caches if you're questioning why there's a Mark I and a Mark II. Mark I is previous, Mark II is current. So these are the most recent ones you can possibly get. One thing that not many of y'all may have known, there are three new masks out currently. I have one on my face. It should be the easiest to get. All you have to do is equip all of the exotics on at once. And then you go into the combat tab over here and there's two other ones. These are pretty much the hunter mask that you do have to find. There is one of them. Hunter as prey. So there you do have to go ahead and kill five hunters. Well, it's going to be multiple. It's going to be like 10, 20, 30, something like that. It's going to be a hell of a lot of hunters. So, I mean, there's going to be some underground. There is one down way, way at the bottom. You have to kill five hunters in uh, resistance, five hunters in survival, and five hunters in underground. But it seems like it might be a little bit bugged out right now, because if you go in survival and kill a hunter, for some reason it counts some of your underground... Well, it counts some of your survival hunter kills for underground. I don't know why that happens. It's happened to about three to four of my friends so far. Let me know if any of you guys have noticed this, because I have too. It happened to me when I did this later on in the day. So, there's kind of that thing. Ignore the Firecrest backpack, that's literally not mine. I just bought that for the video. And that's the new mask right there, <laughs> one of them. It looks kind of like the Creeper Peeper mask. So that's what I'm calling it from now on, Creeper Peeper. I mean, look at that! Dude, that just screams like, hey, I'm staring at you from your next door neighbor's window. Like, bro, what? Why? Why, Division? Why would you do that? Who wants to look like that? I'm so judgmental on that. Okay, we're moving into the brand new emotes. I know I am missing one. It is the Michael Jackson emote, the um, smooth criminal, as some people have been starting to call it. This one's my favorite, Strike a Pose. Like, this one's my main emote now. Looks so fabulous. <laughs> Like, I mean, it looks so derpy. If I were to wear my regular outfit with that, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I think that would look so derpy if I actually killed someone with my medic build in the dark zone and then did that pose over him. 
Okay, and then there's the dust off emote. I'm not exactly sure how long that one's been there, but I did get that out of the Mark II cache. And, well, that kind of sums it up. There are only those two, and then the Smooth Criminal, which I've yet to get. I know I'm missing a couple of the vanity item pieces, clothing-wise, so... I'm sorry, guys. This is what I have. It's about 90% of the items that you can get out of the Mark II cache. This was over 50 encrypted cache little key things, so... Cypher keys. There we go. I couldn't think, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Okay, so it took about 50 cypher keys to get about 90% of these items. Maybe you could have better luck. Maybe you could get in 30 or less. I don't know, you guys. Maybe you're lucky. Well, you guys, I couldn't leave y'all without a little bit of gameplay for this vanity video. And if y'all did stay long enough, I'd like y'all to put in the comment section, Hey cat, I stayed. Please, just that. I want to see how many people actually can make it towards the end of my video. So, who says that medics can't, I don't know, play DPS? I've had a lot of people tell me I can't aim before, when normally I end up getting a lot more headshots than most of my DPS players do. So, hopefully you'll enjoy this. Yes, I am normally a medic main. Yes, I can use DPS. This is the House and Striker, and if y'all would like me to make a build video on the build I was using in this particular video, which I was absolutely melting everyone with, just let me know in the comment section, you guys. I will definitely do that for you. Or if y'all like, I can go ahead and do a live stream with this build video. Well, with this build on. I'm sorry, I'm stuck in build video mindsets currently. So yeah, I could do a live stream and skirmish with this build on, and I don't know, I guess we're gonna do a little bit of a Q&A over it. And yeah, eventually I could release a build video on this. This is extremely strong, extremely tanky. Not the best heals, as you can see, I was using a fucking support station instead of a heal. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, that tells you the support station gives me more of a heal than my fucking regular, like, anything does. No, well, I mean, if you can deal with it, I'd advise using a booster. But other than that, that's up to you guys. I will shut up now, let y'all enjoy the last little bit of this gameplay until the very end. I'll just say one last thing. Well everyone, you did make it to the very end of the video, and if you did make it here, thank you, I do greatly, greatly appreciate your support. And if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Those of you who commented and stayed the entire video, those of you who do comment, hey cat, I stayed, you might find yourself end up being a new mod on my channel. So, that's a thing you guys. I did go 11 and 3 here, and I hope you all enjoyed the entire video. Catch y'all next time, everyone.